Hello and welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to discuss an important concept from the topic aldehydes and ketones. We are going to discuss Cannizzaro or disproportionation reaction. Let us begin with the definition. Cannizzaro reaction or disproportionation reaction is the reaction of aldehydes without alpha hydrogen atom in presence of strong base to form an alcohol and carboxylic acid. In Cannizzaro reaction, two molecules of aldehyde are involved. One molecule undergoes oxidation to form carboxylic acid and one molecule undergoes reduction to form an alcohol. The basic condition to show Cannizzaro reaction is absence of alpha hydrogen atom. Formaldehyde, benzaldehyde and thalaldehyde as they lack alpha hydrogen atom in presence of strong base they undergo disproportionation reaction. For Cannizzaro reaction the reagent used is strong base. Strong base generates nucleophile. Nucleophile is electron rich and it attacks on electron deficient site in the molecule. Consider an aldehyde. Aldehydes are represented as R C O H. So this is the formula functional group present in aldehydes. Now let us study some fundamentals about this carbonyl functional group. In carbonyl, carbon is doubly bonded to oxygen atom as oxygen is electronegative oxygen has got tendency to pull shared pair of electrons towards itself therefore carbonyl group becomes polar delta negative charge develops on oxygen and delta positive charge get develops on carbon atom as this carbon atom becomes electron deficient nucleophile which is electron rich it attacks on this carbonyl carbon and propagates the reaction now let us discuss an example of Cannizzaro reaction Two molecules of formaldehyde in presence of strong base sodium hydroxide. One molecule undergoes oxidation to formic acid and then sodium format and one molecule undergoes reduction to form methyl alcohol. Let us discuss mechanism of Cannizzaro reaction with respect to formaldehyde. Uh, this is ball and stick model of formaldehyde. These are the two hydrogen atoms. This is carbonyl carbon carbon which is directly attached to oxygen. As this oxygen is electronegative, oxygen has got tendency to pull shared pair of electrons towards itself. This leads to the development of delta negative charge on oxygen and delta positive charge on carbon atom. This carbon atom becomes electron deficient, it becomes electrophilic and nucleophile which is electron rich, it attacks on this carbon atom pi bond breaks and the reaction proceeds. Now let us write mechanism of Cannizzaro reaction with formaldehyde. Formaldehyde in presence of strong base. Nucleophile OH- attacks on carbonyl carbon. Pi bond breaks on oxygen forming HCO negative HOH. As this negative charge on oxygen is localized, it immediately forms pi bond with carbon atom. Now if we remove this OH, we will get starting aldehyde back. So in due course, another aldehyde molecule present in the reaction mixture. Now this hydride group gets shifted on carbonyl carbon of another aldehyde molecule. Pi bond breaks on oxygen. If double bond is obtained between this oxygen and carbon, we get HCOOH formic acid plus HCO negative methoxide ion. This methoxide ion is strong base. It immediately abstracts proton from formic acid to form CH3OH and HCO O negative. Now this formate ion in presence of Na plus gives
sodium ferment. As in this reaction, both the molecules involved are identical. It is called as simple Kanizero reaction. One molecule of formaldehyde undergoes oxidation to form formic acid. One molecule undergoes reduction to form methyl alcohol. Hence, it is an example of disproportionation or redox reaction. Let us study Kanizero reaction of benzaldehyde. Here is the structure of benzaldehyde. In benzaldehyde, aldehyde group is directly attached to the benzene ring. This is carbonyl carbon. The carbon which is attached to functional group is called as alpha carbon atom and it is clear from the structure that benzaldehyde does not contain alpha hydrogen atom and hence undergoes disproportionation reaction. In this reaction, two molecules are involved. One molecule undergoes oxidation to benzoic acid. In presence of alkali, it forms sodium benzoate. One molecule undergoes reduction to form benzyl alcohol. Let us write mechanism of Kanizero reaction with benzaldehyde. For the simplicity benzaldehyde, I will write pH-COH. Nucleophile OH negative, it attacks on carbonyl carbon. Pi bond breaks on oxygen, forming pH CO negative H and OH. As this negative charge on oxygen is localized, it will immediately try to form pi bond with carbon atom. If the pi bond forms, then this OH, if we remove, then we get initial aldehyde back. In due course, another aldehyde molecule present in the reaction, the hydride group of first molecule attacks on carbonyl carbon of another carbon of aldehyde, pi bond breaks on oxygen, then this oxygen and carbon will form double bond giving pH, CO, OH, benzoic acid and plus pH, CO negative, H, H. As this is strong base, it immediately abstract hydrogen from benzoic acid forming pH CH2OH and pH CO O negative. This benzoate ion in presence of Na plus gives pH CO O negative Na plus sodium benzoate. Similarly, as we have discussed with the formaldehyde, one molecule has undergone oxidation to form benzoic acid and one molecule has undergone reduction to form benzyl alcohol. As in this reaction, both the molecules involved are identical. This is an example of simple Kanizero reaction or disproportionation reaction. Let us study cross Kanizero reaction. In Kanizero reaction, if both the molecules involving are non-identical, then the reaction is called as cross Kanizero reaction. Example, reaction of formaldehyde and benzaldehyde with strong base NaOH. It is observed that in presence of NaOH, benzaldehyde undergoes reduction to form benzyl alcohol and formaldehyde undergoes oxidation to form formic acid and then sodium ferment. In the reaction mixture, when formaldehyde and benzaldehyde both are present, nucleophile OH- has choice either to attack on carbonyl carbon of formaldehyde or carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde. As this carbonyl carbon suffers from less steric hindrance, OH- attacks on carbonyl carbon of formaldehyde. Here is the mechanism. Formaldehyde Nucleophile OH- attacks on carbonyl carbon, pi bond breaks on oxygen, forming HCO negative OH. As this negative charge on oxygen is localized, it will try to form pi bond. If we remove this OH, we get the initial aldehyde back. So meanwhile, in the reaction mixture, benzaldehyde is present. Hydride group gets shifted 
on carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde pi bond breaks on oxygen oxygen carbon double bond is obtained and we get formic acid hcooh and ph co negative h and h as this base abstract hydrogen atom from acid this ion gets converted to ph ch2 oh that is benzyl alcohol now formic ion which is obtained in presence of na plus gets converted to sodium formate in cross canizzaro reaction different molecules undergo oxidation and reduction hence it is not an example of disproportionation reaction now let us discuss intramolecular canizzaro reaction as the name suggests intramolecular canizzaro reaction only one molecule involves in the reaction example with thaladehyde in iupac system it is called as benzene 1 to dicarbaldehyde thaladehyde contains two aldehyde group attached to benzene ring in presence of strong base one aldehyde group undergoes oxidation to carboxylic group and another aldehyde group undergoes reduction to alcoholic group now let us discuss mechanism of intra molecular canizzaro reaction benzene 1 to dicarbaldehyde nucleophile oh negative can attack either of the carbonyl carbon pi bond breaks on oxygen forming an anion now as this negative charge on oxygen is localized it immediately tries to form pi bond so if we remove oh we get starting aldehyde back therefore this hydride group gets shifted on carbonyl carbon of another aldehyde group breaking pi bond on oxygen now if you observe the structure carefully it will form carbon double bond oxygen co and oh so one of the aldehyde group is converted to carboxylic group ch o negative as this negative charge is localized it will immediately abstract hydrogen from carboxylic group forming carboxylate ion co o negative if you observe structure carefully one of the aldehyde group now it's reduced to alcoholic group in presence of strong base this carboxylate ion gives sodium salt co o negative na plus ch2 oh now this sodium salt in presence of acid simply acid treatment gives orthohydroxy benzoic acid now let us discuss few exceptions to canizzaro reaction consider isobutyraldehyde this is formyl group this is a carbon to which functional group is directly attached it is clear from the structure that alpha carbon contains hydrogen still isobutyraldehyde shows canizzaro reaction it won't undergo aldol condensation here is another example consider tri halo acetaldehyde if we consider acetaldehyde ch3 coh if we replace three hydrogen atoms by halogen either chlorine bromine or iodine we get tri halo acetaldehyde it is clear from the structure alpha carbon does not contain any hydrogen when trihaloacetaldehyde heated with strong base it will not show canizzaro reaction it will undergo hydrolysis forming haloform example 
chloral when heated with sodium hydroxide it will form chloroform and sodium form it hope after watching this lesson the concepts like canizoro reaction aldehydes without alpha hydrogen simple cross and intramolecular canizoro reaction along with mechanism and exceptions to canizoro reactions are clear listen to this video lesson again and again practice reactions and mechanism to have mastery on it thank you for watching this video